This is Code.org. I'm working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm currently on their web development, which is Unit 2. I'm on Lesson 13, RGB Colors and Classes, and I'm on Part 6. Let's see what we're doing here. Classes. Ooh, this stuff's tricky. In this page, the web developer has used classes to give some of the words. Some of the words are winter color. So they have. There we are. Look at the HTML code for the for the winter words. Why is snowy the only winter word without a winter color? This icon means that this level is part of a larger project. Oh, okay. Uh, snowy? Well, winter's green, cozy... Oh, snowy sticks out like a sore thumb. Why? Uh, I'm going to use inspect. Is it going to work? Yay, it does. Oh, so if I look... Oh, yikes. Now I'm going to turn off inspect. If you go over here, see what I'm noticing? Winter. So H2 says class winter. H5 says class winter, in quotes. Six, I mean H5, H5, and look at snowy. This H5 tag looks weird. Now that's how H5 is written. That's how we've seen it. This is something new, right? Inside of the H5, because they're not even closing it before this class thing. They're putting the winter. Let's see what that is. Add the code to the HTML that will give Snowy the same winter blue as the other words. Oh, okay. So we need a space. I'm going to try to copy this exactly. Class equals winter. And we're going to hit refresh and save. And... Oh. Did that... I didn't think that would work. So um, it shouldn't have because I don't have uh, quotes around this, right? What you want to make sure to do is because that can break your page in the future. It looks like they're being nice since they're just <laughs> introducing it. But do make sure when you make a class that you have quotes around the word. Refresh and save. Okay. Look inside the style sheet to find the rule that makes all the words in winter class blue. Well, is everything an H5 tag? Because then it must just be the... Oh, wait, that's an H2 tag. So it must not be H2 in the style sheet. Um, and by style sheet, they do mean the CSS page, which is way over here. All right. Check whether your RGB numbers are close to the ones in the style sheet. Well, I don't see... Because this doesn't even have a... Oh, that's interesting. Do you see that they have a dot before this? I wonder if that means class. Let's see. If I'm going to just test something. Uh oh Oh, I didn't like that. So that must be what tells the CSS that that is a class. All right. Um, and hopefully your numbers are close. Mine are pretty close. Discuss with your partner. I guess we're partners. Or discuss with the person next to you. Um, but I think we got this one conquered. Snowy's good. Yep. All right. Let's keep going.